Seeds and Seed Dispersal The learning objectives are to describe how plants grow after fertilisation and explain the ways that seeds are dispersed. The key words for this nugget are seeds, disperse, ovary, fertilisation, fruit and explosion. Making new plants Reproduction is the process of making new living things, including plants. This is the beginning of a new plant's life cycle. Flowers contain pollen and ova, which are eggs. These join together to make seeds in fertilisation. From each seed made, a new plant can grow. Pollination and fertilisation During pollination, pollen is carried from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another. Fertilisation is the joining of a pollen grain and an ovum to form a seed. When ready, seeds need to leave the plant so they can grow into a new plant. Different plants make different types of seeds. Dispersing seeds All plants need similar resources to grow. Do you remember what these things are? Plants need light, air, water and warmth. Without these things they will die. Plants also need room or space to grow. If a seed from a parent plant lands very near to the parent plant, they would have to share the different things that the plants need to grow. This might lead to there not being enough space, light, water, air and nutrients for both plants to grow well. This means seeds need to be dispersed or spread out from the parent plant when they are ready to grow into a new plant. Wind dispersal Can you think of any plants that use wind to disperse their seeds? Seeds that are light can be carried away from the parent plant by the wind. Sycamore trees have special seeds that fly in the wind. Let's take a closer look at them. This is a sycamore seed. Each seed is very light and has wings to help it be dispersed further by the wind. This is a dandelion. Dandelion seeds are very light and fluffy to help them be dispersed further by the wind. If you ever see a dandelion in seed, try blowing it and see how far the seeds travel. Water dispersal Some seeds that can float can be carried away from the parent plant by flowing water. The seeds of a palm tree are called coconuts. You may have eaten a coconut or drunk coconut milk. Coconuts can float on water so after they fall from the tree, they can be carried away by flowing water. The coconut will then be washed up on the shore far away from its parent's plant. Explosion Dispersal Some seeds grow in pods. These pods split open suddenly and throw the seeds far away. Pea plants store the peas, which are the seeds, in the pods. When the pod splits, the peas explode out and also roll away. Animal dispersal Now let's think about animals. How do you think they can help to disperse seeds? After the ovum is fertilised, 
The petals die and the ovary can become a fruit. The apple, strawberry, avocado and watermelon are all examples of fruits that contain seeds. The fruit gets eaten by an animal and the seed passes through the body and leaves the animal's body in the animal's faeces, their poo. There's also another way animals can help to disperse seeds. Some seeds are carried on animal fur. These seeds often have little hooks that mean that they stick to animals as they brush past the plant. A burdock seed is a good example. It has hooks which helps the seed attach to the fur of the animal. The seed then catches a ride away from the parent plant and will eventually drop off in a new location. Summary In summary, the fertilised ovum grows into a seed. Seeds need to be dispersed to avoid growing too close to the parent plant. Seeds can be dispersed by wind, water, explosion and animals. Here are the key words. Seeds. Part of a plant that new plants grow from. Disperse. To spread out. Ovary. Part of the plant that contains the ova. Fertilisation. When a pollen grain meets an ovum in the flower. Fruit. Something that surrounds the seeds that animals can eat. Explosion. A type of seed dispersal where the seeds are thrown far away from the parent plant.